Hi, I'm Raina Morgan with Eye Health Tube, talking with Dr. Rappaport today. Dr. Rappaport, could you talk to us about ATP and how it affects blood flow and how it affects heart health? Yes, that, that's a very, very important question. The extracellular ATP in the blood stimulates blood flow by interacting with receptors on vascular endothelial cells. Vascular endothelial cells are the layer of the cells that lines up the blood vessels. Now, by interacting with vascular endothelial cells through the receptors, ATP produces vasodilation. Now, the vasodilation is the level of about 8 to 10 percent increase in the blood vessel diameter, but this can achieve up to 17 percent increase in blood flow. Now, the 17 percent? 17 percent in Th blood flow. That's considerable, flow. isn't oh, it? Oh, it is. It's very considerable, considerable, especially when it's not, in, when it does not involve an increase in heart rate or blood pressure. Oh, okay. In other words, a reduction in blood pressure. It does involve a, what's called a reduction in systemic and pulmonary vascular resistance. Now, the, uh, the reduction in pulmonary vascular resistance, which stimulates the flow through the lungs, is also extremely important because it enables the, heart, the blood to, uh, to gather more oxygen that is then utilized in the extremities and in skeletal muscle. Now, the stimulation of um, blood flow, if there are two take-home messages that I'd like okay. people to take, one is the stimulation of blood flow with all its consequences, and the other one is glycemic control, the control of blood sugar with all its consequences. And these are good consequences. These are Positive. excellent cost consequences. Now let's talk about okay. stimulation of blood flow. Stimulation of blood flow stimulates the disposal of oxygen, nutrients such as glucose, which is the main sugar, into skeletal muscles mostly. Skeletal muscles take about 70% of the sugar in the blood. The skeletal muscles take 70% yes. of the sugar in the blood? Yes. Okay. And that is done through a specific transporter that is expressed under the effect of ATP and adenosine. Now, in addition, adenosine also improves the interaction of insulin with insulin receptor. And uh, that, uh, that, in, that interaction also stimulates the expression of the major glucose transporter, and that's called GLUT4. But basically, uh, stimulation of blood flow means quicker enhancement of delivery of nutrients, oxygen, okay. and into, the, uh, into uh, organs and mostly skeletal muscles along with the removal of waste products, such as lactic acid and ammonia. I should mention in this, in this um, I should take the opportunity to mention that uh, ATP is now an approved drug in France. Oh, it, it is? It goes under the brand name of Atepagen. Atepagen. Yeah, okay. it's, the indication is lower back pain or subacute low back pain, which is called also lumbago. And this is, again, a case of muscular pain because they uh, selected the patients only by the fact that they had muscular pain and no, not pain due to fractures or tumors or so forth. And again, the removal of waste products and the stimulation of nutrients uh, disposal into the muscle causes this uh, highly positive effect. Okay, well thank you Dr. Rappaport for giving us that valuable information.